Right there you have it, Mag Easier Subscription with a little twist. Now um, from magazines, let's talk about books once again. As promised, we've got another author who talks about life open secrets. And she's a local uh, young lady and um, I just had a little uh, talk with her earlier on. Very interesting indeed. Let's please welcome Sabrina Bakar, the author of Life is an Open Secret. Good morning, Sabrina, or better known as Sis Sub. Sister to Brina. your readers, Sister Sabrina, to yeah. your viewers, uh, to your readers, of course. Sister. Now, I understand that this is your first book. Right. Is this there is any more books coming along your way? Yes, yes. I'm actually writing my second book, Life's well an done. Open Secret for Women. For Women? Yeah. Now, how and why? Okay, let's start off with why first. Why did you decide to book, uh, write this book, Life is an Open Secret? Okay. Um, my experience is really, really uh, wonderful because I started off as actually a blogger. Ah, uh, she's a blogger. <laughs> yeah, mm. there you go. I'm a blogger, but I started a blog not because I want to write. I've got lots of things that I write about and I mm. need a place where I can keep my stuff okay. safe, you know, because pen drive is a bit problematic, mm -hmm. lots of virus, you know, I could lose it. So I, I need a place where I can put my stuff mm -hmm. and it's secure and I won't lose it. I can access it everywhere, you know, I won't misplace it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I thought blog is a wonderful place, you know, it's safe, it's mm -hmm. free, mm -hmm. right? So I, I uploaded my stuff uh, on the blog, I posted on the blog. And I understand somehow, that a lot of people came, always came to you. Um, um, they were always, you were always this uh, counsellor. Always people oh, felt yeah. comfortable talking to you and you relayed their stories in a way inside your blog. And that's when you got the following, yeah, right? Something yeah. like that was yeah, that story? Uh, somehow since school, I, I, I just love to talk to people and I've got lots of friends who actually like, in a way, confide in me. Correct. Confiding, yeah, I'm, that's right. Yeah, I'm not so sure what, what I say is right or wrong at that time, <laughs> time you know, being so young. But I, I do share what I feel and um, and somehow we feel there's, uh, there's a trust between me and my friends. Mm -hmm. So that's how I think I got into advising, counselling, talking to people. Mm -hmm. I feel very comfortable with that. So I put that into words, you know, and I love inspirational stories since young. Mm -hmm. My dad, he has lots and lots of books. We have a library at home. Oh, and yeah, lovely. wonderful. He's a, he's a wonderful man. So my parents, my late mother and, and my dad, uh, used to buy books, you know, we used, they used to bring us to warehouse sales, book sales, and we buy, just buy books. And I just began to read, and I have this inclination towards self-help books, mm -hmm. motivational books, and comics too, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I read so all sorts of genres, basically. Yeah, except mm -hmm. for maybe like a few that's a bit like, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like political, and, and that doesn't oh. like hold me back. Uh, what do not genre? Like, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. So reading, your, because of your reading habit that has been instilled by your parents since right. you were young, Absolutely. this has cultivated your reading habit, of course, your writing skills. But did you always know, I understand, that you took a PhD in business administration. Right. Did you see yourself as a writer? I understand that you are now a full-time writer right. for at least a year plus. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about your journey, your career as a writer now. Yes, it's absolutely amazing because mm. you know what I have on the blog is just just sharing. I just want to share. And then when my blog started to get hit, I do not know from where. Mm. Out of nowhere, it gets hit and people are responding to my stories really, really well. They leave feedbacks and stuff like that. Some of them email me. So I realized that, hey, okay, I know my the way I write is quite casual, very chatty. Mm -hmm. So somehow uh, there is a group of people who actually like the way I write. So I begin to write seriously. I begin to make sure that I post every, post every month, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, somehow some editors actually also, you know, discovered you. my blog. Yeah. Well and then, yeah, so an editor from Egypt, actually. Egypt? Egypt. And, yeah. All the way from like, Egypt. Malaysia Boleh. <laughs> Malaysia Boleh. And from Brunei, mm -hmm. they, they wrote to me and they said they like what I have on the blog. It's very... Um, what is your blog spot name? Right. Or is it blog spot? Yes, blog okay, spot. Okay, blog spot. Yeah, Wisdomthroughwords.blogspot.com Wisdom Through Words. Right. Very inspirational yeah. indeed. Now, I understand that this is basically a motivational book. Absolutely. And this is your first book, second book coming out, especially for women I like the idea um, it, it has 18 secrets yeah. that you've come up to something to do love your mother until right to the end of the chapter about loving your God or trusting in your yeah, God trusting your yeah trusting your Lord so um, how did you pen these things down is it difficult 
um, I have to be honest with you, mm. I spend hundreds of hours of research mm. doing this book because um, I've got lots and lots of quotes and proverbs from all over the world. Mm. I quote them as per, you know, whenever it's relevant to that particular story. Right. And then, of course, I have to arrange and rearrange the secrets, you know. In the end, um, I what I've decided from the very beginning is the first secret should be love your mother because, mm -hmm. you know, I believe mother is, is oh, yes. pretty important in oh, life, yes. right? It's very important. Mm -hmm. and, and I do dearly love my mom, my mm -hmm. late mom. Um, and then at the end of the day, whatever that you do, you have to trust your Lord. So I've got these two uh, front and back anchored and I've got to sort of like uh, arrange the, the other uh, 16 secrets in between and you know in the end this is this is what I've got. It and it's secrets. a light read yet very inspirational. I was flipping through it earlier on a while just before our interview mm -hmm. and I find it a very easy read yet very e educational and the thing that I love about it is that it's very simple English. Exactly. So exactly. it's not as if like I've got to like oh oh my goodness and, and it can With actually it. be like you could finish it within a day. Yes yes absolutely. And Absolutely. we read it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the whole idea because mm -hmm. I want the book to be um, read by the mass. Okay, mm -hmm. I want it to be appealing to everyone, almost like you know. And and people do not have to have a dictionary beside them and like you know Ma, I think, think about uh, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know? And and it's, it's it's really difficult to be inspired and have to refer back to dictionary and then come back to that particular uh, paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. So I make sure the language is simple. Mm -hmm. I have uh, readers from nine year old reading my book so yeah it's absolutely amazing you know and they actually are able to answer the questions I put in my book mm -hmm. I've got lots of questions in my book to trigger you know um, this conscience in, in, in ourself so so that as people read the book because as if I'm talking to them it's Correct. like yeah so as they read the book they answer the question themselves together with me did you have to go through a writing um, course to do this Actually, I, I did not. <laughs> not at all. What yeah, time, but Sabrina? yeah, I, uh, it's amazing actually. But what I did is that I actually enrolled into two associations from the states. It's mm. called uh, Islamic Writers Alliance and okay. Muslim Writers Alliance, and they actually embraced me and they actually taught me how to become a writer. They answered all my questions, and I've also joined some um, uh, writers group from Canada. It's an international group but the founder is from Canada. So it's called uh, Muse Flash and because you know I write flash flash uh, fiction like mm -hmm. five five hundred words, mm -hmm. fifty words, hundred words of stories. Flash. Yeah it's called it's called flash. Learning <laughs> flash or micro flash. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much Sabrina we're running out of time unfortunately. Okay. How much is this book and where can we find it? All right. Uh, you can find it in all major bookstores, MPH, Kinokonia, Times, mm -hmm. a popular Islamic Arts Museum. Mm -hmm. um, it's retailing at? 21.90. 21 ringgit 90 cent only yes. for a very inspirational, easy to read book. Uh, Life is an open secret. We're looking forward to your second book. Thank you. Sabrina, I have, and good um, luck. I have a book trailer actually on YouTube. You can search YouTube.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, type uh, Life, op Life is an open secret book trailer book trailer yeah I have like a two minute less than two minute book trailer you can have a feel of what the book is all about is is on YouTube on YouTube wow much much more than nowadays I tell you technology <laughs> thank you so much yeah. sis Sabrina because thank I feel you. as if I've known you for years thank already you. even Wonderful. though I've only met you for about half an hour so great stuff life is an open secret 18 secrets that she shares with you and I think you know what you trusting the old Lord has made this a success and I wish you all Thank the best you. in your Thank career you. path. Thank you. Thank you so much and we're going to go for another short break and some public announcements right after this with Hans and myself on The Breakfast Show, the show worth waking up for. See you around.